the first thing we're going to have to do is install the operating system for Windows. Um, I'll assume that you've already connected your ISO or you uh, put, put the CD into your CD-ROM and you power it up and we're booting up to the, to the ISO or C, uh, installation media right now. This is going to be the first screen that you're going to see. Uh, so choose the appropriate uh, language and, and time and currency format and keyboard options that you're going to require. We're going to click Next. Microsoft has simplified the installation for Windows uh, Server. And we'll see here that the, the questions that are asked are, are pretty simple to get going. So the first screen, we, we're going to need to choose which version of the operating system we're going to install, either the server core or the server version with the GUI. Since this is going to be used for Hyper-V and we can do most of our management remotely, um, to keep the installation size down, we're going to go ahead and install just the server core installation. We'll accept the license terms and we'll go into the uh, custom install windows only in this screen if you do not see your storage device here that you will need to install on you may have to install or load uh, additional drivers for for you to see that in this case we can see the installation um, storage or the, the local storage that we want to install windows on so we'll go ahead and click, select that and click next. The installation process will begin and shortly after will be uh, the install will be finished. The installation is finished and we can see here it's going to automatically reboot the system after the installation is done. Okay, now Windows has finished preparing itself and you may have noticed that it, it may have rebooted uh, one time uh, or twice before this this screen has come up. This initial screen is for us to set up the local administrator uh, account. So we'll go ahead and put in a password. Password has changed and it has logged in for the first time. And this is what we see after we install the server core version of Windows Server.